Myths are not stories that are untrue. Rather, they are tales that don't fit neatly into the historical record, which serve as a foundation to a culture. Swords flash and armor rattles as warriors of two great armies vie for supremacy on the battlefield. In the dust and chaos, one warrior stands out above the others, overcoming all obstacles and cutting down every enemy. Her name was Mulan. Now, you may have heard her tale in animated form before, but if you thought the House of the Mouse gave you the whole story, stick around. Thanks so much to Curiosity Stream for helping us tell this classic tale. Mulan was an average village girl from an average village family. She was the oldest child, spending her days weaving and cooking, and her nights taking care of her parents and siblings. That is, until one night, when Mulan went walking in her village and saw a draft poster calling for troops for the army. Her people, it seemed, were going to war, and the eldest son from each family was being summoned to fight. But since her father had no grown son, he himself would be called to serve. Learning this, Mulan's heart broke, for her father was old and surely would be killed in battle. But then, an idea struck her like lightning. Time froze. And in that instant, Mulan knew what she had to do. She was the eldest daughter, after all, and she loved her family more than anything. So she decided she herself would serve in his place. Mulan went straight to the markets that moment, buying herself a horse, saddle, bridle, and whip, as well as a sturdy set of armor. And at dawn, she set out on her way. Now, hold up a minute. Aren't we forgetting something? Isn't there supposed to be a big scene where Mulan cuts her hair and disguises herself as a man? Well, no. Turns out that detail isn't in the original story. Strike one, Walt. She rode all day, and by the time the sun set, she had made camp by a river, now so far away from her parents that their worried cries could not reach her. Here, she only heard the sound of the flowing water, the crickets, and the trees rustling in the evening breeze. And when she awoke at dawn, she was filled with a sense of peace and purpose, the likes of which she'd never known. For though she was far from her family, she knew she was honoring and protecting them. Mulan continued on until she heard the rattling of pots and the murmur of soldiers' voices. At last, she had found the army's recruitment camp, where enlisted men, young and old, were readying themselves for the long journey to the front lines. There, she tracked down the general, introduced herself with her family name, and told him she was there to serve. Now perhaps the armor she wore hid her features, or the general had too much on his mind to pay attention, or maybe he simply knew that with the long and bloody war before them, he couldn't afford to turn away eager help. The general sighed. Okay, kid, you're in. And at that moment, Mulan learned something very important. People rarely see things that they don't expect to see. And since no one at the time expected a woman to request to join the Imperial Army, she was recruited without fuss or fanfare. At long last, she knew her father would be safe. Mulan took to military life like a fish in water. She served with honor, making close friends with some of her comrades, and learning many skills of survival and combat. Together, the army traveled 10,000 miles, across wide open plains, over tall mountain peaks, and through valleys as swift as a coursing river. And of course, there were battles, fierce and terrifying. And though many a general and stout soldier died, Mulan survived each and every one, and nobody ever questioned her gender. They just respected and honored their comrade in arms. But wait, you might be thinking, aren't we missing something again? A love interest, perhaps. Her secret revealed. Nope, sorry. Also not present in the original tale. Steer right to, Big D. Though the more years that passed, the more Mulan wished to be home. Not because she wanted to shy away from her duty, but because she wished to see her parents' faces once more. She looked back on her time in the war. She had changed so much and come so far, and was now much different from the young girl who had looked up at those same stars so long ago. Would her parents even recognize her? Well, she would soon find out. Because after serving for 12 years with many great victories under her belt, her term was finally complete. And upon her discharge, because of their exemplary service, she and other select soldiers were invited to see the emperor himself. He offered them promotions, land, and gold. Whatever they wanted, he said, would be theirs. They only had to ask. But when it was time for Mulan to name her prize, she simply asked for a mount swift and strong enough to carry her home. When her family heard that she was returning, her little sister put on her finest dress, braided her hair, and did her makeup. 
while her little brother sharpened a knife to sacrifice pigs and sheep and help prepare a great welcome home feast. And despite their now old age, Mulan's parents walked all the way out to the village wall to meet her when she and her companions arrived. When they first saw each other, Mulan was afraid her parents would be angry. After all, she had been gone a very long time. But upon their reunion, her parents only felt pride as they embraced their heroic daughter, overjoyed to have her back home. Then, as Mulan and company arrived back at her house, she went up to her old room while her friends introduced themselves to her family. She stripped off her armor, laid her weapons down, and put on one of her old dresses. Then she put up her hair, dabbed makeup on her face for the first time in over a decade, and went down to join the celebration. No longer Mulan the warrior, but Mulan the eldest daughter. Which is when her comrades stared in amazement. They had served for twelve years in the war together and never realized she was a woman. And Mulan only had one response. They say you can tell a male rabbit by his swift feet and a female rabbit by her narrow eyes. But when they run side by side on the ground, who can tell male from female? That poem is the most famous part of the Ballad of Mulan, and for good reason. Mulan weaves and wears makeup in pretty dresses, while having a deep desire to honor and protect her father. She doesn't cut her hair to hide herself in order to join the military. She just gets down to business and stands up for what she believes in. She was a normal girl who loved her family and didn't need to hide herself in order to be a hero. Perhaps that's the most heroic thing of all. But circling back to the topic of family for a moment, I wanted to let you all know that you can watch more content from us and our creator family all ad-free over on Nebula, our By Creators for Creators streaming service that's home to a ton of our favorite educational entertainers on the internet, such as Jordan Harrod, Tail Foundry, and Nando V Movies. Plus, you get to see exclusive Nebula originals, including some of ours, and there's even director's cuts from fellow creators like Tierzu and his recent extended bird tier list that go into even more depth than their YouTube counterparts. Love me some Corvids. And because CuriosityStream loves supporting independent creators, when you sign up for CuriosityStream, you get Nebula included absolutely free, which is of course on top of their thousands of award-winning original series and big-budget non-fiction videos curated across their massive online learning platform. And actually, one that I want to point some eyeballs to that I got hooked on recently is called Doug to the Rescue. Okay, get this. It follows the aforementioned Doug, who, side note, could be a Matt Damon stunt double, but I digress, as he uses infrared cameras attached to drones to find and rescue animals trapped by natural disasters and then return them to their owners. Yeah, Zoe and I are already three eps in, and I was blown away. The feels are most assuredly real. And you can get access to all this content for one super low price. Just head to curiositystream.com slash extra credits and you'll receive a subscription to both CuriosityStream and Nebula for 26% off the regular price. That's only $14.97 for a year of both services, so strike while that internet iron is hot. It helps support us at EC, is super lightweight on your wallet, and can elevate your content watching game to the next level. A huge thanks to Ahmed Ziad Turk, Alicia Bramble, Casey Muscha, Dominic Valenciana, Joseph Blame, Kyle Murgatroyd, and O'Reels One for being our legendary patrons. Yeah.